Hey Pat, if you didn't already guess, then your favourite writer slash poet using YouTube as promotional platform is back. And in this video, I'll be reading now um, my next short story. Okay, I'm not going to tell you about all the context behind the story because I can just write down in the description box. Um, and if you want to read along with me, then click the link in the description box it'll take you to my story right page. So, without further, without any further introing or adoing, I present to you Hurricane. The sky reverberated as a crunch of thunder rolled across it. The clouds divided to make a path of bullet fast lightning. For a brief second, the whole area exploded up in the air, before being rolled back into the darkness. Then the rain started. Heavy, opalescent drops. Heavy, opalescent drops escaped down the edge of the water from the surface of the earth. The trees shivered and shook as the wind sprinted up to meet them. The girls were so powerful that the concrete crumbled. Bark was ripped off and cast into the earth. The rain was still hammering down with the frost of the hyena snapping its jaws. It was almost as if God had become frustrated with how humans had mistreated his creation and had decided to turn the clouds into mafia gangsters. Armed with machine guns, which shot a rainbow to the force of a bullet. The hurricane had appeared out of absolutely nowhere. Nobody knew it was coming. No warning had been received. And then the blast of thunder rolled across the sky, sounding like the firing of an ancient cannon. Ball rain exploded onto the ground, churning up the air, churning up the dirt. The fantastic glare of the lightning strike reflected off of the rain and brought very brief visibility to the area. It fell so fast it was a blur. Roaring drops recalled off the catastrophe eternal. The hurricane had claimed even more victims. Some people died through car crashes. Some people died from suffocating from the sheer extent of the rain. Some people died through drying of flash floods. Any fires which had a tenacity to start up were quickly extinguished. Forests and fields were being reshaped as landslides began to take hold. Mercifully, the rain had finally come to a stop. Yet, it left a devastating stain on the surrounding area. The sound of the relentless rain shattering down on metal and stone had been replaced by an eerie silence. The teeth of the wind had chewed the bark and knees of the trees to pieces. Some areas were still completely submerged in filthy water. In some communities, this was all that they had left to drink. In the hurricane, everybody lost something, and some people lost everything. Everyone was scrounging, scavenging, stealing resources. This was what they had to do to survive. As always, another cheerful, another cheery place, another cheery piece to get all your thoughts and hopes up. So, as you can tell, that's more one more of one of my shorter pieces, and I hope you guys enjoy it. You're my superlative pack. As always, James Hinton copyright. Okay, got that? James Hinton copyright, 2011. Mm. And. I'll see you guys next video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, I use www.freesfxc.co.uk for my sound effects. I'll put a link in the description box below. I'm not sponsored by them. So, as my old dad used to say, sure, can sit there. And as his old dad used to say, are you gay?